Hi, I'm Dr. James O'Donovan, and in this video, we're going to talk about something that can become very serious very quickly, and that is heat stroke. We'll cover what it is, how it happens, the signs to look out for, and most importantly, what to do if you or someone else is affected. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is heat stroke, also known as sunstroke? Well, heat stroke is a medical emergency that happens when your body overheats. And we're not just talking about feeling a little bit hot and sweaty. This is when your core body temperature rises to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius or higher, which can start to seriously damage vital organs like the brain, the heart and the kidneys. It's the most severe stage of what we call heat-related illness. So before heat stroke sets in, someone might have heat cramps or heat exhaustion. But heat stroke is the point where your body's temperature control system starts to fail altogether. And if it's not treated quickly, it can lead to long-term complications or even be life-threatening. So what causes heat stroke? Well, there are two main types of heat stroke. Firstly, there is classic or non-exertional heat stroke. Now this usually affects older adults or people with ongoing health conditions, and it happens after spending too much time in a hot environment, especially during heat waves. Then on the other hand, there is exertional heat stroke. Now this tends to happen in younger, healthy people who are doing intense physical activity in hot weather. So you can think about athletes, outdoor workers, or military personnel. Again, this is a generalization, but these are the two main categories. Now in either case, some things can make heat stroke more likely. Firstly, wearing heavy clothing that traps heat. Secondly, drinking alcohol, which can interfere with your body's temperature regulation. Or thirdly, simply not drinking enough water to replace fluids that are lost through sweat. So how do you know if someone is experiencing heat stroke and what are potential symptoms? Well, here are some of the key symptoms to look out for. Firstly, a very high body temperature. So again, this is 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius or higher. Changes in mental state, such as confusion, irritability. This is especially the case in children. Slurred speech, seizures or even coma. Unusual sweating patterns. So in classical heat stroke, the skin feels hot and dry, but in exertional heat stroke, the person might be sweating more heavily. Flushed red skin due to the rising temperature. Nausea or vomiting. Rapid breathing and a racing heart rate. This is your body working hard to try and cool down and a headache which might feel like a throbbing pain. Now these are all warning signs that need urgent medical attention. And whilst not all of these are necessarily caused by heat stroke, and could have other causes, it is important to have them reviewed by a healthcare professional. And just a side note, in terms of skin changes, remember, depending on skin tone, the skin may not necessarily look red. So what should you do in an emergency? Well, if you think someone might have heat stroke, don't wait. Call emergency services immediately because time is of the essence. Now, whilst you're waiting for help to arrive, you can take steps to start cooling the person down. Firstly, get them out of the heat into shade or a cool air conditioned space. Next, remove any excess clothing and use whatever you have to cool them down. So this might mean a cool bath or a shower, spraying them down with a hose or sponge, fanning while misting with water, or even placing cold packs under the arms, in the groin or on the neck. And hopefully within half an hour, the person's body temperature should start to lower. And the goal is to lower their body temperature to normal as quickly as possible because every minute counts. In the meantime, make sure you call emergency services. So who's most at risk? Now, anyone can get heat stroke, but some people are more vulnerable. So let's talk about age first. Babies and young children have got immature temperature regulation systems. And in adults over 65, the body's ability to adapt to heat also decreases. Then there is physical activity in hot weather, especially if you're not used to the climate. So heat stroke is more likely during the first few days of a heat wave or when you first arrive in a hot country. Now other risk factors include not having air conditioning, especially during sustained hot weather, taking certain medications like diuretics, which you might know as water tablets, beta blockers, or certain psychiatric medications, as well as having certain health conditions like heart disease, lung disease, or being significantly overweight. So finally, can heat stroke be prevented? Well, the good news is yes, heat stroke is largely preventable. And here are a few simple but very effective steps. So firstly, wear lightweight, loose fitting clothes. Natural fabrics like cotton or linen are best. Secondly, use sunscreen and stay in the shade. 
Sunburn makes it harder for your body to cool down. Thirdly, stay hydrated. Drink water regularly, even if you don't feel thirsty. Fourthly, avoid outdoor activity during the hottest parts of the day. Usually this is between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Never leave anyone in a parked car, especially children. Even a few minutes can be deadly. And if you're starting a new exercise routine or traveling to a hot climate, take time to acclimatize gradually. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments section and please check out the description box of this video for more trusted resources for much more information.